Hi there, hope you have a fantastic day today. This video, I will teach you how to graph piecewise functions using Desmos. Of course, there's a link on the description below to um, take you to the Desmos website so you can uh, do an activity at the end of the video. So let's go straight into it. So first of all, let me just go to Desmos website first. So Desmos, so Desmos graph or calculator doesn't matter click any of those so let me click the first one so let me just graph let's say y is equal to negative bracket 2 minus x minus 2 let's say x minus 2 and uh, power of 2 so i can press power of 2 and i can use this function as well if you like you can always use these functions okay if you don't want to type and then uh, plus one. So I just press the arrow button. So it go down. So plus one. And I want to graph. Let's say from um, from two onward. Okay, from two onward. That is x is greater or equal to two. So I have to enter curly brackets. So two, which is less than or equal to x, if you like. But then I cannot find the um, less than or equal button on my um, uh, keyboard. So what I do, I use this function here, okay? So X and close curly brackets. There you go. So, but then we, you can see because it's at 2, 1, we want an inclusive, okay? So we want to put a circle. And um, so to do this, okay, we click on this here, we put, we put the point in. So this point here is 2, 1, okay? So just put 2 comma one and close brackets there you go so i want to change the color okay it's otherwise look odd so change the color to the same as the graph so you go here so what you do you press the um, mouse pad down okay press it down and it pop up but sometimes it doesn't pop up so just try it again okay try a couple of times sometimes okay and i want to change the same color and i want to site 12 just a little bit bigger okay you leave it um uh, size nice doesn't matter okay so I just put 12 so uh, this is it let's grab another function so let's say y is equal to let's say negative x okay plus 2 so let's graph x is less than 1 okay so I have to open curly brackets you can put a space in between if you like it still works so x is less than 1 and close curly brackets and of course i do not want one graph is uh, blue and green because i want to change the same color you go here and you click the mouse pad down and then you choose the color you want so there you go and of course you can see this this one one here meant to be an open circle because x is less than one okay to do this so i just type brackets one one i just put the point in and you click the uh, mouse pad down try it again and then you choose this one here okay and of course we want the same color and then i just like to choose side 12 it's just a little bit bigger that's all easy to see so there you go so this is how you graph p's y functions okay now you can go to desmos or go to the link on the description below and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. And don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think. So let's get into it. So let me clear all of these first. So y is equal to negative 2x minus 1. And open curly brackets because we want to graph less than or equal to negative 2 for x. So x is less than or equal to negative 2. And close the brackets, curly brackets. There you go. But then we want to close circle here 
So to to find this point, of course, you can see negative two, three. Otherwise, you go here. What you do, you double click and hold the keypad, uh, mouse pad, and it should appear. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't work. You just try a couple of times. Okay. So negative two, three. So I can just go here, bracket, negative two, three, close brackets. And of course, I want the same color. So I can click this. So I just go here and click the mouse pad down and I choose the same color. Okay, whatever color you like, but because of graph, I just want to choose this color. That's all for no reason. Okay, and I want side 12. So there you go. So that one is done. So now the second one. So let graph y is equal to 1 over 2 or a half or 0 0.5. You can type that in and x squared. So I type x. I can use this button here. Functions if you like. There you go. But I want a graph between negative 2 and 2. So what I do, I go open curly brackets. I type negative 2 and less than and then x. And I use this button here because it's inclusive 2. So I just type 2 and close the bracket. Don't forget. And the negative 2 for x value have to be open circle. So I just go here, type negative 2, comma, two close brackets and of course i don't want that circle there the closed circle i want an open circle so let me just go here and click the keypad down and then um, open circle and i want the side 12 and i do want the same color which is black and then i go here as well let's change the color so i just go clicks down and choose the same graph okay color and choose the same color there you go. And then on this end here, I need to have a closed circle. So this point here, 2, 2. So just type 2, 2. And of course, I want to change the color. So that is black. So there you go. So the last one is y is equal to 1 over 2. And then I just click the arrow button and then X plus three. And I want to graph X is greater than two. So therefore I put brackets, curly brackets, of course. Okay. X is greater than two or two less than X. If you like, doesn't really matter. And curly brackets close. There you go. And I want this point here, two, four is open circle because X is greater than two. Okay. So I go here, I call bracket, two, four, close brackets, and I want to change the style of the circle. So I just go here, and I click the mouse pad, and I choose this one. And I choose the same color, and I light side 12. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.